Cool. Yeah, I like an angry bird. <laughs> I did, what? Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited for because we are making rainbow treats. I made one of these videos a little while back and I had so much fun. I realized it's been a minute and I have so many other rainbow treats that I'd like to make. So today we're making not one, not two, not three, but four different rainbow treats. Starting with these rainbow slice cookies. Let's get started. First step to making a slice cookie is to make some cookie dough. We're gonna be making a vanilla sugar cookie recipe. In a big bowl, we're gonna to cream together our butter and sugar. And all of the ingredients and their measurements I will put in the description down below. So if you'd like to make any of these recipes at home, you can. All right, so we're gonna pour in our sugar and our butter. For a couple minutes, you wanna to cream together until it's light and fluffy, like a cloud. Ooh, that's looking nice and creamy. Time to add some more stuff. Okay, we're gonna add some vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, and one egg, the whole egg. Now mix together until well incorporated. Now, last but not least, we're gonna add flour to our butter mixture. Last mix to make our dough. Just keep mixing until all the flour is incorporated and you can't see any anymore. All right, so in front of me, I divided the dough into six portions. I started with a smaller portion and then they slowly got larger and larger and larger. We're doing this because we're gonna make a log and then keep wrapping it to create a rainbow look. Also, I thought this was so cool, these bags that I left out because I wanted you guys to check out the brand if anyone's interested. The one thing that I don't like about rainbow treats is it uses so many food dyes and there are so many cool options out there now. This one's made out of beets. This one, one ingredient, purple sweet potato powder. I left one uncolored because I want to show you how they mix in. It's super easy. So this is the largest portion of dough and as you can see, the red is just a powder. So you just mix it in. You can use a spoon. I like to use my hands. I love treats that taste good and look good. So lately I've been trying to find more natural, more clean, more green ways to make food look beautiful. Look how gorgeous this is and no dye on your hands. I rolled out all the dough in front of me and each one is a quarter inch thick and six inches wide. But as you can see, they get bigger and bigger and bigger as they move up the rainbow. And that's because we're gonna start with purple in the center. I rolled the purple dough into a log and then we're gonna start wrapping it all together. This is so cool, just like that. And then I'm gonna slightly, very gently, pinch together. We just want that dough to touch. Then you're just gonna keep doing the same thing. Line up your log and roll. What I really love about slice cookies is you really don't have to decorate them very much. How you assemble them is really the look of them and the decoration. I feel like I'm in a little cookie assembly line. We've got our rainbow log. Now the next step, we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator to chill for one hour. But before we do, we're gonna wrap it up. This is gonna make it a lot easier when it slices to hold the shape. Also, pro tip, if you wanna take it out of the fridge a couple times during the hour that it's chilling, give it a little roll. It's really gonna help it create a perfect circle cylinder shape. Because right now when the dough is soft, the bottom will be flat. So we're not gonna get those beautiful double rainbows. We're gonna get like a beautiful rainbow and then a squished one. So pop it in the fridge for an hour and you can take it out a couple times and give it a roll. We just took the cookie dough log out of the fridge and now it's time for the fun part. It's time to slice our slice cookies. This is where we're gonna see the design. I've got a large sharp cutting knife on top of a cutting board and I'm going for, the goal is about a quarter inch thick. Now the end pieces are kind of gonna be duds and and then, oh, look at that. Look at the design, it's like a rainbow bullseye. Oh, this is great. We're gonna cut it in half, so you're gonna get double rainbow. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Oh, and there we go, look at that. They're so cute. All right, I'm gonna place them over here onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper, and I'm just gonna keep slicing these cookies, and then we can pop them in the oven. Wouldn't these be the cutest rainbow glasses? Cool. Okay, let me cut these in half before I get too excited here. Okay, all right, boom. You can never have enough rainbows, really. Oh my gosh, you know what'd be cute too? Mike, tell me this isn't cute for sunglasses. That's so cool. Cool. I look like an angry bird. I did, what? 
We've got all of our little rainbow slice cookies on the baking sheet, ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once your cookies have baked, give them a little bit to cool and then enjoy. That's what I love about these. You really don't have to decorate them. The decoration is in the construction of the dough. And look how cute they turned out. They're adorable. The ones I just made have lighter rainbow colors and then these ones I added more of the powdered natural food coloring to the dough and they came out more vibrant and even brighter. So I love them both. One's a little lighter pastel-y and one's a little bit more vibrant. Okay, I have to try these. You can't just make fresh cookies right out the oven and not have one. Perfect texture. Mm, mm, mm. Next treat we're gonna be making are these rainbow cake truffles. And we're gonna be using a technique that I've never used before. Eee, I'm so excited. Now the first step to making cake truffles is, look guys, you don't actually use any truffle. I don't know why they call it cake truffles. They're basically just cake balls. First thing that we need to do to make our cake batter is mix together our dry ingredients. So over here in a medium sized bowl, I've got some flour and we're gonna mix in a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of salt. Then whisk together till well combined and then we're gonna leave it over here off to the side. Then in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter and sugar. Add your sugar and a stick of butter. And this time when we're mixing it together, we want it to be extra light and fluffy. So we're gonna mix for about five to eight minutes. That is what it should look like. Super light and fluffy. This is basically a cloud in a bowl. Now we're gonna add our extracts. We've got vanilla extract, almond extract, and we're gonna add three egg whites. Once you've got those in the bowl, mix until combined. Our butter mixture is looking great and now we're gonna put everything together. We've got our dry ingredients, butter mixture, and some milk. Now the dry ingredients and the milk to our butter mixture starting and ending with dry. So we're gonna add a little bit of dry, mix it up, half the milk, mix it up, a little bit more dry, mix it up, the rest of the milk, mix it up, and then the last of the dry and mix it up. It's a lot of mixing. Batter's up, the batter is ready. This is a great consistency, I love it. It's moving, but it's nice and thick. Now I'm gonna divide the batter into two six inch greased and lined pans. Your cake batter is in the pan, now it's time to bake. Heat your oven to 325 degrees and bake for about 30 minutes. Once the cakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool and then we're gonna crumble them in this big bowl. This is my new bowl. I have a lot of glass bowls, I have a whole set, but this. This is the new one. This is the big boy. This part's messy and fun. You can use your hands, you, you can use spoons, whatever you wanna do. So hands is the easiest. So I just break apart little pieces. You can rub the pieces together. That creates a great crumble. Just mash them. Cake is crumbled. Now you're gonna add one cup of buttercream icing. Usually when I'm making cake pops, I use ganache. That is my favorite. It really binds well, holds things together, and stays up on that little lollipop stick. But because these are just gonna be little balls sitting on a plate, they don't have to have as much structural integrity. Next, using an electric hand mixer, we're gonna mix everything together. You're gonna keep mixing until it's kind of cohesive, almost like a dough, like a cookie dough. That's looking good, I'm gonna mix up the rest by hand. We started with the hands and now we're gonna end with the hands. Oh, this is great. This is the perfect consistency. Now I'm gonna divide this into six bowls and I'm gonna split them evenly this time. I divided the cake into six different bowls and colored them, except for this one. I'm just gonna pour it in there, boop, boop, boop. And you can use as much as you want. It just depends on how bright you want your colors. And then you just use your hands and you can just mix it up. Okay, there you have it. Look how beautiful. I've got a half a teaspoon and we're just going to scoop half a teaspoon amounts like so. And we're just gonna scoop those little amounts onto a board or a baking sheet, whatever you want or a plate. Then just keep doing that and do that for the rest of your colors. It does take a little while, so turn on your favorite movie or TV show or podcast, whatever. Just chill out, relax. This is mindless. It is amazing. We've got all of the cake scooped, and this is the goal. We're gonna roll them together to make these cute little rainbow cake balls. You just take one of the red, I'm gonna flatten it just a little bit, and then an orange, place it on top, then a yellow, then a green, 
blue and purple. Squish together, boop, boop. And then in your hands, roll. And just keep rolling until these seams right here where they're not connected start to really connect. It doesn't take too long, just a couple seconds for this one. These are so cute. Oh, I am obsessed. Once you've assembled all of your rainbow cake balls, we're gonna pop these in the fridge to chill for one hour. It's gonna make it a lot easier when we're dipping it into the chocolate. Just pop the cake balls out of the fridge and I've got my chocolate nice and warm over here. This is a melting pot if any of you aren't familiar. This is the one I made years ago, the Nerdy Nummies one. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your little cake balls and just plop it right into the chocolate. Just submerge it using a fork. I'm gonna pick up the cake ball and tap on the side. Tap, 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 tap. And that's gonna let the excess chocolate drip off the bottom. Then we're gonna come over here onto a baking sheet lined with a little bit of parchment paper and using a toothpick, I'm just going to push the cake ball. There we go! Oh no! Oh, go back, go back! Oh, 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 okay, that was the first one. That's okay, we're just warming up here. And while it's still wet, before it's set, you're gonna take a little pinch of sprinkles, put them on the top. Now we're just gonna keep doing this. I only pulled out some of the cake balls because this recipe makes 40, 40 of these. So you could have a party for all your friends and family. This is a treat everybody can enjoy. And ta-da, there you have it. Rainbow cake truffles, or rainbow cake balls, basically. I cut one of these in half so you could see inside and how beautiful they are. I hope you guys try this recipe because not only is it adorable, they're delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna show you how to make these rainbow popsicles. To make these rainbow fruit popsicles, we're basically making a smoothie. All of them, the base is gonna be banana, a little bit of Greek yogurt, and for this one, I'm adding a little bit of pineapple. I'm gonna be making them in different color batches just to keep the colors separate. Let's start with blue. So you're gonna add your bananas, pineapple, Greek yogurt, the blue powder, which is made out of butterfly pea flour. Look how beautiful it is. And then I have a little bit of water off to the side in case my smoothie is a little too thick and I need to thin it. I'm using my heavy duty blender. You don't need one of these. This is just, you know, I went a little hashtag ridiculous one day because I wanted to make the perfect pina colada. Oh, that smells so good. This looks like blue milk from Star Wars. We're gonna do this again to make five more other colors. I've got all of the rainbow fruit smoothies ready right in front of me, and they're all a little bit different. Now, all of them have the banana and Greek yogurt base in the smoothie, but I'm gonna go through and tell you which additional things I put in each of them. For red, I added fresh raspberries. For orange, I added some fresh peaches and a little of the orange powder color. For green, fresh mango and spinach. And it didn't even need the green powder because this was the color it came to. And then for purple, just a bunch of mixed berries. Once you've got all your fruit smoothies, we're gonna combine them all in a popsicle mold. So here I've got a mold of six. Scoop one tablespoon of the red color into each one. You can try not to get it on the sides, but I have a feeling these are gonna have a little bit of a marble effect which is fine. On to the next color, same measurement. One tablespoon, coming up. We've got our popsicles full, I got the lid on, and now we're gonna pop in these little popsicle sticks. Now our popsicles are ready to freeze. I'm gonna put them in there overnight just to make sure they're fully frozen. I made a bunch of these, I made these ones last night, and I'm about to pop them out. Now everybody's popsicle mold is different, so let's try to pull one out here. We're just gonna give it a wiggle. Oh, oh, I think we got it. It's beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful rainbow fruit popsicle I have ever made. I love it. I hope you enjoy this rainbow treat as much as I'm going to. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, last but not least, we're gonna be making this rainbow pizza. It's super easy, but very fun. As you can see in front of me, I have a bunch of rainbow colored toppings for our pizza, and this pizza is gonna be a veggie lover's pizza. Now, if you don't wanna do all veggies, you don't have to. There's so many other things that you can swap. For the pizza itself, you can make the dough from scratch, or you can go to the grocery store. They have pre-made doughs. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the toppings
things on so that each slice will look like a little rainbow after you've baked it and cut yourself a slice. All right, so we're gonna start with red and I'm gonna use tomatoes, but there's many alternatives. You could use pepperoni, you could use whatever you want. Now we're gonna work our way in. The next topping is gonna be orange and I've got orange bell peppers. The next layer is gonna be yellow. You could use anything yellow again. You could use yellow peppers, you could use pineapple. I'm gonna be using corn. Now don't knock it till you try it. Next color, we need a green topping. I'm gonna to be using broccoli, but again, if you don't like broccoli, so many other alternatives you can use as toppings. We're gonna to skip blue because blue food does not exist. I'm not gonna put a blueberry on a pizza. I don't know why I'm okay with putting a pineapple on a pizza, but not a blueberry. I'll have to think about that. So we're just gonna go for purple, and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of onions. I'm gonna heat my oven to 450 degrees and bake my pizza for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now this is really gonna depend on which dough you're using. And ta-da, here are all of the rainbow treats that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making more of these. I really love all these treats that we made today because they were all made with natural ingredients, flavors, and colors. This is the first time that I've ever done something like this, and I hope to be doing a lot more of it. So the treats that we made today were rainbow cake truffles, these delicious rainbow sliced cookies, rainbow fruit popsicles and this rainbow veggie pizza which I'm about to cut up and have for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You got some ideas for some fun treats to make this summer and if you guys have any other ideas for any other videos you'd like to see me make let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Also if you like this baking video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. It's free and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right thanks again for watching you guys. Bye bye. Also if you'd like to watch any other videos you can click up here or up here. Hey Molly, I made rainbow treats. Just finished. Molly's done. She just came out of the office.